So next we'll begin adding enemies. So click on base scene, add a new object, add a new sprite, add an animation, add, and we're going to find enemy one, open, and apply. Now we have our enemy, we can drag it on if we want to, or we can delete it. Okay, I made a mistake. Let's uh, call this enemy one, because actually we have three enemies that we're adding. Um, apply. We have enemy one, now we need enemy two. And enemy three. And if you look in the assets folder, you can see that there are, you know, different meteors. Uh, there are three enemies. There are also different players. So you can kind of predict what we're going to be doing when we're making it. Okay, now that we have our enemies set up, um, it will be much easier if they're all in a group so we can edit their actions all at once. So we will click the uh, objects group editor button and now we're going to create a group edit the group now we need to add the enemies to the object so let's go ahead and add those enemy one enemy two enemy three this is what is in the group and i'll apply now group doesn't really help me identify this so let's rename it to enemies next we will add health to our enemies so click the three dots edit the object we're gonna add a behavior scroll down to health and for enemy number one let's do 100 100 click apply Enemy 2 will do the same thing. Behavior. Add a behavior. Uh, for this time for health, let's do 50. We want to have some variations in our enemies. Fifty, fifty. Apply. Apply. And enemy three, we will do same thing. Behaviors. Add a behavior. Health. This time we'll do one hundred fifty. This gives it. This gives the game some variation. Next, we're going to add the ability for our enemies to shoot. So we're going to go on the events uh, page and we're going to add a condition. Make sure you, you select a group, enemies. We're going to go to collision. And then we're going to do click OK. we want to say what will happen when the bullet hits an enemy so we're going to add an action and we're going to delete it well, it's right down here under objects you can also search for it now we're going to add another action <clears throat> damage the object and we'll say player because we're we're editing the en enemies right now and the person that or the object that the enemies will damage is the player and the value will be 50 and okay so now we have enemies when the enemy is in collision with bullets so we will delete the bullet and then we will damage the
Okay, so because the enemies are hitting the bullets, we want them to lose health. Next, we need to see if the enemy is dead or not, because if we keep hitting it, we want it to disappear. So let's add a new condition. We'll click enemies. And then f for health, we can put in dead and click is dead and OK. Now, when the enemy dies, we want it to disappear. So add an action. Delete the object. So this means if the enemy is dead, we're going to delete it. 